you mentioned Joe Flacco, so we'll just move into the second, you know, game of the Saturday uh, slate there. Uh, we've got the Cleveland Browns going on the road to take on the Houston Texans. Joe Flacco. I mean, how about this? Like, you know, it, it, I think sometimes I forget like, oh, yeah, he also played for that divisional rival, the Baltimore Ravens, too. And, you know, uh, was kind of that link with, uh, you know, won the Super Bowl and everything. And then was the quarterback before Lamar Jackson, because it feels like with Lamar Jackson, like it's just been, you know, uh, kind of a fairy tale, if you will, with the MVP and everything else he's done. But, um, you know, the Texans coming in with a healthy C.J. Stroud. Uh, yes, they still don't have Tank Dell, but it looks like they're going to have Robert Woods, uh, possibly Noah Brown, too, uh, you know, going along with Nico Collins. So they're getting healthier, uh, you know, coming off of that, great victory that they had with the Colts there, kind of a win, win in your end game there. So, you know, coming in with some momentum, Texans have won three of their last four, four, including that Colts game there. Uh, you know, the Browns coming in hot though, Joe Flacco, we had to lead the charge with this also top ranked defense that they have. Um, also the Browns, they've beaten the spread too <laughs> the last four weeks. If you don't include week 18, you know, which I think that's kind of a toss up there. Um, just overall though, I think the, you know, the, the Browns and kind of how they match up, I think the key will be, you know, if the Texans, uh, Dalton Schultz, he's going to be the key factor there. I think I saw somewhere that the Browns have, they've allowed like a 99.9 quarterback rating, uh, against tight ends. That's really where Dalton Schultz can be that X factor for the team here. Also if Singletary can, you know, effectively run the ball, you know, maybe he doesn't break out like a 30 yard touchdown run or whatever, but is able to like move the ball, like average like four or five yards a carry. I think that could be helpful. Kind of take the load off of Stroud. Um, but you know what? This Browns team, uh, even though they're not going to be playing without both their tackles there, uh, which that's the only concern that I have, I think against Will Anderson Jr. And Jonathan uh, Grenard, who you know, combined have like 19 and a half sacks. I do believe that the Browns with Flacco, with that defense, the defense will be able to hold Stroud a little bit. I think uh, stopping any type of big plays, I think, would be key for the Browns. And, you know, this is a epic Browns defense that they have. Like, if if they had a, a Joe Flacco or had some stability of the quarterback, you know, earlier in the season, like, this is a team that won 11 games, right? Like, could you imagine if earlier in the season they had, you know, Joe Flacco of some sort there, just having that stability? Like, this team could have, you know, probably like three or 13 or 14 wins there. So, you know, for me, I got, I really like this Browns defense. I think they'll win, they'll basically win them this game. I think Flacco will make enough plays there, keep the ball moving. Um, and yeah, I got the Browns. So it's like, it's a two and a half point. They're two and a half point favorites against the Texans. I'm going to say they cover this, you know, uh, it is Jim Schwartz experienced defensive coordinator against a young rookie quarterback, albeit, you know, having a historical season. I just think the Browns with this defense, they'll 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 take care of business here and Flacco will make enough plays. You know, with Amari Cooper who got like 265 yards, I think, the last time that these two teams played. So maybe he doesn't get that, but you know, I think they'll be able to get enough yards uh passing there. Yeah, I actually thought you were going to go to Houston just because, you know, they've been kind of your darlings from the start of the year. Um, man, what a way to end it, you know, beating Indy. That was a great game to watch uh, just to see, you know, Stroud's kind of progression from the start of the year to, you know, all the way through. It's like, man, we were talking MVPs. You know, he definitely has a case this year and he's, you know, only, you know, coming in for his first time and just looks so seasoned and uh, and ready to go. Um, I'm with you, though. I mean, I feel like, you know, top D in the game, uh, you know, tied for fifth in takeaways uh, throughout the year. I think they're going to be kind of a matchup nightmare uh, for for Stroud. I think, you know, it's going to be a lot, um, you know, upon him, I think, in his first ever playoff game. I think there's a lot of pressure, you know, as it is for him. Uh, also kind of being at home, I think there's an expectation there that, you know, they'll have to hold serve there and kind of, you know, take care of business, um, you know, on their ground. But, you know, Cleveland, I just feel like very deep, very experienced. Uh, you know, I feel like that defense has just been humming all year. And it's seemingly been the quarterback play that's been the most, you know, inconsistent factor of the team, you know, going from Deshaun Watson to, you know, uh, PJ Walker to, 
you know, Dorian Thompson Robinson. It's just like, it's been kind of checkered all over the place for the Browns. They finally found that stabilizing force in Joe Flacco. Um, you know, it's good for him that he didn't have to play a full season. I think just him coming in to be that, you know, that, that closer, it's like, he's so fresh, he's, he's hot. So it's like, just ride that hot hand. And, you know, before they ended up, uh, you know, kind of resting all starters last week, they had lot, you know, won their last four, uh, coming into the playoffs. So they're like, you're saying riding in hot, um, not that Houston isn't playing well, but yeah, man, I just think, uh, you know, you got a lot of veterans on the Brown side, guys that are, you know, hungry and that team just, it's just a, it's a mean team that is like a, it, it, they're, they're really, pretty much play bully ball uh, throughout the games. I mean, they stack up really well against teams like the Ravens. Um, you know, when they go head to head with them, I just feel like they're that type of playoff hard nosed football team that you know is going to get it done. So I'm going to go with you there. I agree. I think this one's going to be a close one, but um, you know, I think they're going to win by, by three points. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of, you know, again, we'll see like this whole CJ Stroud, like he's been incredible. Like, like I mentioned before, I would like in, in his truest form of most valuable player, like to me, CJ Stroud by a long shot, just given, you know, rookie head coach, you know, defensive coordinator, is, or, you know, was is a defensive money coach as well. Um, not much talent on the offensive side of the ball. Like I think every everybody picked them. I think they were like the, the second lowest ranked team, I think to maybe to the Panthers or something like that uh, in terms of what the record was going to be. I think they, they had the lowest odds of like making the playoffs or something. So honestly, a remarkable season, remarkable what they've been able to do. Like who would have thought Nico Collins would be like in the thousand yard plus wide receiver, like all these things that are just incredible here uh, for CJ Stroud. It's just, yeah, they just happen to go against one of the best defenses <laughs> in all the NFL and yeah, a hot quarterback too. So for me, it's much more about that. You know, really like what the Texans have built on. I'll be scared what they are able to put together for, you know, this off season and heading into next season, like, you know, and it's hard to like remind ourselves, Hey, this team won the division, right? Like you felt like the Jaguars were owners of the division, but yeah, they kind of just stumbled. And now, yeah, the Texans took over and um, I don't, know. we'll see, we'll see what happens. This is going to be a home game, you know, in the playoffs for the Texans here. So definitely don't want to write them off, but yeah, feeling pretty good, I think, for this Browns team with that defense. Uh, yeah, I, it's just going to be tenacious for them. Although, you know, Tunsil, if he can be that, that you know, uh, uh, staple that he is, that could definitely slow things down. But, yeah, it's just going to be a hard, I think, matchup here against this Browns uh, passing defense, which is one of the best in football there. So, yeah. <laughs> 